Welcome to worship at El Pueblo United Methodist Church in Taos, New Mexico. I'm Pastor Sherry Lyon. And as many of you know, I am in California, in the San Diego area, uh, caring for my parents. So this presentation is coming to you from their home and is in a little different format than usual. But I'm so grateful that you joined us. And while I have been here, like many of you, I have been watching some of the Olympics, keeping tabs with at least the highlights. It's been a way to wind down each day. And so I wanna spend some time talking about Olympic faith and what that might look like from a Christian perspective. We've all seen such incredible acts of bravery, of athleticism, of sportsmanship. But what does Olympic faith look like for a Christian? Well, I want to share just a few thoughts. The first is we never do it alone. We see with the athletes that They've got their teammates, whether it's a solo performance like on the vault and gymnastics or a team event like basketball and baseball or some of the lesser known sports like the individual dynamics of fencing and windsurfing. Hadn't even seen that before. But we still don't do it alone, even if we're in an individual sport. In Proverbs 27, 17, we read, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. We encourage one another. We help one another to grow. We strengthen one another. That's what it means to have Olympic faith, is to be a teammate, to be an encourager to know that we do not do it alone. Another thing that is part of Olympic faith is a recognition, just like the athletes recognize, is that failure happens. I watched a spectacular uh, three meter diving belly flop at the Olympics and you could just see everyone gasping on the sidelines, including myself and my mom watching from home. An athlete who had just performed dive after dive perfectly, and then a belly flop. Failure happens. As Christians with Olympic faith, we try to fail forward so that we learn from our failures. And we read in scripture, in Proverbs 24, 16, a righteous man falls seven times and rises again. Failure happens. Things are unexpected. We practiced and we practiced or we prepared and it doesn't always go the way we thought it would. But when we have Olympic faith, we get up and we start again, just like that diver. We heard many times as we were watching the Olympics this week, an announcer say, they laid it all on the line. They gave it their all. They left it all on the field. And isn't that what we want to do with Olympic faith as well, is to give it our all, to fully commit to living as God's children with compassion and kindness, with a generosity of spirit, with love for others, with humility. We leave it all on the field each and every day. And we read in 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24, when Paul wrote, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way, Paul wrote, as to get the prize. 
The prize for Christians is knowing that we are living, following the example of Jesus. Knowing that sometimes we don't always meet our expectations and failure happens. But knowing that we've got teammates. We've got those who encourage us. We've got coaches. And then for us as Olympic athletes tracking the trail led before us by Jesus, we know that winning isn't everything. I see those athletes who just miss the podium. They're in fourth place or fifth or sixth. And sometimes it's just by a hundredth of a second that they missed out on standing on that podium. As we go forward, continuing our faith journey, may we heed the words of Matthew 6, 23. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. It's keeping our eye on the prize, paying attention to what's important, and remembering that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I hope you continue to enjoy watching the Olympics. I'd love to hear what's your favorite Olympic sport. What event moved you? What's inspired you? But what inspires me is knowing that you are my teammate and I am yours. And we encourage one another to keep on keeping on loving one another, and living with a generous spirit. The motto of the Olympic Games is to go swifter, higher, stronger. And may that be true of us as well. Amen. And now I invite you to join me in prayer. Oh, Holy One, we give you thanks for the athletes, for the coaches, for their families who have sacrificed so much for these athletes to be where they are now, for the young and the old who are inspired by them, for the friendships that these athletes are making with people from other countries, other lands. May they be bonds of peace that we might build upon. And may we too have Olympic faith as we say together the prayer that Jesus, our brother and coach and teammate taught saying, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks for cheering El Poblito on. Through your presence, your prayers, your gifts, you may donate online at elpoblitoumc.org via PayPal or drop a check off at the church or mail a check in. If you're in Taos, please join us on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. for outdoor worship. We look forward to seeing you there. And now let us sing together with Claire. Amen. Let it be. Mm -hmm.